Hello, welcome to Mr. Paul's Pantry. I'm Mr. Paul and it's nice to see you all here again. If you're new, a very warm welcome. I hope you're keeping well. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a pork pie. And um, some of you may already know, some of you may not. When I first started my working life, I went to work in the family business of charcuterie. That's a pork butcher to you and I. And the only thing we baked at that time, because I love baking, the only thing we baked was uh, pork pies and sausage rolls. And pork pies, quintessentially an English thing, especially around Christmas time. So, I entered competitions all my life, and competitions with pork pies and sausages and black puddings, and I did very well with them. So I'm going to show you how to make a prize winning a Mr. Paul's pork pie. Okay, here are the ingredients for the pork pie. First of all, for the pastry, it's going to be a hot crust pastry, not a short crust. This means we make it with boiling water. I'll show you how to do that step by step. And for the pastry, we need some bread flour, that strong bread flour. That means 12% or more protein in the flour, okay? You cannot use and make a good pork pie with all-purpose flour. It has to be bread flour. Bread flour, some lard. You can't substitute that with anything else. It has to be lard some salt and some cold water and for the filling of the pork pie I've got some belly pork and some seasoning. Now I have a recipe to show you how to make the seasoning and there's a link underneath the video. Now that will make the Christmas pork pie for you. Let's get on with it. Right now the first thing we're going to do is to put the lard into the pan and the salt into the pan followed by the cold water we light the gas and bring that up to a boil and we heat that up until all the lard has dissolved completely. The water will be boiling, the lard will be all dissolved. It must be boiling. Whatever anybody else tells you on the internet or on television, to get a proper crisp pork pie pastry, it must be boiling. And unlike a lot of people who show you how to make pork pies on television, you do not add any butter or anything else to that. It is cold water, lard, which you can't substitute, and salt. We'll just let that boil away and I'll be back shortly. Okay, as you can see now, the water's boiling, the lard is all dissolved, and we're ready to go. And the water, the boiling water and the lard is going straight into the flour. Sorry, I've tried to do that left-handed and I can't. There we are. And we'll turn the mixer on. Slow speed, so we don't get flour everywhere. And we leave that to mix for three to four minutes because we want to develop some of the gluten that's in that strong bread flour. That's what gives the pork pie crust its structure. And if you do it as I'm showing you, you'll have a lovely crispy crust on the outside and a nice soft creamy pastry on the inside. Okay, there we are. I think that's ready now. And it's still very, very hot. So we need to be careful. I'll just show you the consistency of it. Can you see that? That needs to be left to cool now for a few hours. 
You cannot use that pastry while it's hot like that. Now if you don't have a mixer, you can actually mix it in a bowl and once you've got it all the dry flour incorporated, let it cool a little, then take it out and knead it just like a bread dough for about five minutes. Because what we're doing is we're developing some of the, instead of it breaking like this, we're trying to get a nice gluten developed. Then pop it back in your bowl, cover it with cling film and leave it to cool for several hours. So now while that's, uh, cook, while that's cooling the, the pastry, we're going to work with the filling. Now here I've got some, here I've got some belly pork. Now I haven't minced it, a lot of people mince their meat, but the correct way to make a prize winning pork pie is to not mince it, it's to chop it. Exactly the same with a proper Cornish pasty. That's not supposed to be minced either, it's supposed to be chopped small. So if you can see this, how small I've cut it there. Can you see that? Just nice small pieces. Now, if you want, you can go buy your mince at the butcher's, but what I advise you to do is to buy some belly pork and ask him to mince it coarsely for you, not very fine. If, you mix, if he minces it fine for you, you'll finish up like sausage meat, paste it. We don't want that. We want something nice and texturized in inside the pie. So there we are and here I've got my seasoning. Now the recipe for the seasoning uh, is underneath the video. You will see a little link there and that will take you to make, give you the recipe how to make this seasoning. I can't go into it now because it's a, a, a quite a few ingredients okay but it's salt, pepper and a few other things. I'm going to sprinkle that in. For this amount of meat I've got 500 grams here 500 grams of meat and I'm using 18 grams of the seasoning, 18 grams of the seasoning. So we'll give that a good mix, distribute it right through all the meat. We don't add anything else to this, there's nothing else added into a pork pie filling only the seasoning and the pork. I've seen lots of recipes on television where they put sage in it and onions in it and add an egg to it. It's not necessary. It's a pork pie. The pastry is made with lard from the pig. The insides made from belly pork from the pig. It's a pork pie. That's all we need. So now that's well distributed as you can see, there's the pepper and the salt and everything that's in the seasoning is all mixed in like that and we're going to go and show you how to fill the pie because by now the pastry should be cold enough. Okay now we come to the filling the pork pies. These by the way are different tins that I've used over the years in the uh, in the bakery. Small pork pies, medium sized pork pies and these are specially made pork pies for hand raised pies. They've got loose bottoms and the pastry was molded by hand in those. In some of these ones we use, in the machi we use a machine to press the pastry into these things. So, and you've heard, possibly heard of a thing called a stand pie uh, at, uh, at Christmas time uh, and that was a, a hand raised pie round a form and it was cooked without being in a tin at all, it was freestanding, that's why it was called a stand pie. So I'm going to use a couple of tins today, I'm going to use this one first of all and the pastry now has been sitting there, I've actually left it overnight which was what we did in the bakery. We used to make it before we went home and then make the pies the next day. So there we are with the pastry. 
I'm going to roll it out and show you exactly how we make the pork pie now. We've got the filling, we've got the pastry and everything. So we roll it out gently. You don't have to roll it too big because what we're going to do is you're going to put it in the tin like this. Can you see that? We're going to put it in the tin like that and then we're going to use our thumb and raise the pastry up the side of the tin, pulling it up with our thumb like that, pressing it down thinly, so thinning it out, but all the spare pastry is coming to the surface. Can you see how that's happening? It's all coming up nicely. Um, I'll just go, we've got an air bubble there, get rid of it, there we are. I'm going to go around it with both thumbs now, raising the pastry to the top, making sure it's pushed into the corners right at the bottom, but being very careful not to make any holes in it, like that. So now we've got that, we're going to make the lid. I just want to put a little bit there where it's a bit short, a little bit thin, and another little bit over there where it's a bit short of pastry, because we need somewhere to actually seal the lid onto. That's why it needs to come just slightly sh uh, higher than the, so the, the edge of the tin. Okay, so there we are. Now the meat's going to go in there. We're going to make a ball of meat. We don't want to fill it really to the brim, but almost. So there we are, there's the meat going into the tin. Just ease it down a little bit. And before we put the lid on, we're going to wet round the edge there. Here's the pastry for the lid. Not too thick and not too thin. We need a hole in there so we can put some gel in afterwards. Lid on there and we need to press that round to the edge of the tin where we've pulled up the pastry. So we're actually sealing that down, the two edges together. I'm going to flatten that and I'm going to take that now, excuse me, and just trim any excess off. You can see that, just trim any excess off like that. And then we're going to crimp it and we use the thumb of one hand and the finger and thumb of the other and we push the two together like that. Just simply pushing it together. So we're sealing the two raw edges so nothing escapes. And there we are. Can you see that? So there's our first pork pie. I'll fill the other tins and I'll show you what we do with them next. Right, now the pies, they've been sitting in the fridge now for about three and a half hours. Uh, in the bakery we used to make them and leave them overnight because if you bake them straight away the pastry will shrink terrible, they'll be very misshaped and they won't look very nice. So here we've got the one, two, three I made from that batch of 500 grams of belly pork. And here I've got an egg yolk. Only the egg yolk, not the whole egg, because that's where most of the protein is and that will give you a better coat a uh, colour on top when you cook them. So we want to gently egg wash this and what we want to be very careful of is we don't leave any pools of uh, egg wash anywhere sitting anywhere because it'll start to burn and look black in the crevices like that. We need to do it evenly all over 
And remember, this is just the yoke I'm using. Now you can use any kind of a tin, you don't have to have special pie tins. I mean, I've made them in all kinds of things. In actual fact, I've made them in cake tins, I've made them in all sorts of things. Um, as, as long as it tastes nice, that's all that matters. Okay? So these are going to go in the oven now at about 190, 190 degrees, and they'll take about 45 to 50 minutes. So I'll come back when they're ready. So the pies are now out of the oven and I've let them cool down for about an hour and a half. And we have to do something next, which is very important. That's put in the jelly inside. Now you've all seen a pork pie with the jelly down the sides of between the meat and the pastry. Some people don't like it, some people poke it out, but it is there for a purpose. Because as the pork shrinks when it cooks in the pie, it leaves a gap all round the meat. And when you try to cut the pie, the meat will roll out. Okay? It also serves the purpose of keeping the meat moist when it's stored in the refrigerator. So in the shop, when we made pork pies commercially, then we used to make our own gelatine by boiling up pig's trotters. That's where the best gelatine comes from and used to season it with a little salt and pepper. But today I'm going to show you how you can do it, a very easy method. So here I have a quarter of a litre of chicken stock and about a heap teaspoon of gelatine. Now I'm using powdered gelatine. You can use the leaves if you want. I haven't got any because I always used to buy this gelatine in a large tin and I still have quite a lot at home. So I'm using this powdered gelatine and you can use a couple, two or three sheets of the gelatine just soaked in the warm chicken stock. <coughs> Now this is why the hole was put in the top, so we could actually pour the jelly into the hole and we need to pour it in gently until it comes right to the very top. So we know there's no cavities inside without the gelatin. So the moment of truth here and we're going to take a look inside one of these delicious looking pies. There we are. I think they look absolutely delicious. Nice and chunky. Not sausage meat looking at all. Can you see that in there? I think that's a very, very nice pie. And there we are. We'll have a little taste and see what it comes out like. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. A real Yorkshire pork pie. Try making one for Christmas, I'm sure you'll be delighted and you'll never want to eat a shop bought one again. This is Mr Paul saying bye for now and if you've enjoyed the video go underneath and do give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any comments leave them underneath, I'll try and answer them if there are any questions I'll try and answer them as well and also if you haven't subscribed already press the subscribe button and the little bell icon at the side if you click on that you will be notified every time I put up a new video. So it's Mr Paul saying bye for now and I'll see you next time. Bye!